we just got something we have been waiting for us so many days. I couldn't wait to open it. Yeah! We've been waiting for this for so long. This is gonna be our new DJ and also video blogging computer and we have to transfer all the music from our previous computer to this new computer and there's a way if you use iTunes that you can set up your library in the old computer and move it into a hard drive and transfer to a new computer with just a bunch of clicks it's super easy so let's check it out first let's open this baby so nice Look how tiny it is! A burger is even bigger than this! Mmm, so good! Oh, right away you see it! Look at this! It's so tiny! Half the size! What else we have here? Manuals, charger, cable, nothing else. Simple, easy. I really love that from Apple. They go to the spot, they, poof, right away. You want a computer, you open the box, just the computer there. Another brand, papers, 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 charger, wrap around, bubbles. By the time you get to the computer, it's like, oh, finally. Oh, wow, it's there. <laughs> nice. To use English as the main language, press the return key. I'm Argentinian, but it's okay. I can talk to you in English if you want. So, in your old computer, go to iTunes, you come here, you go to Preferences, and in the last tab, this is the place where it's gonna be stored all your music. If you have this option clicked, all the music that you drag and drop into your iTunes is actually gonna be copied to the library where, where iTunes uses the music that you previously set up, it's over here. You have to make sure that you have this check on. So then afterwards, you can just delete it from whatever you have it because it's already in the Apple's folder, in the iTunes folder. Your libraries, your DJ standards, or anything that you worked on iTunes is going to be stored in the same folder. So as long as you have this one where all the music that you add is going to be copied to that particular folder, all you have to do open your music folder where that is i'm gonna copy this one to my external hard drive so if i copy the same folder into my new computer everything's gonna be there let's check it out new computer here it is welcome guys this baby is gonna dj many many events we open itunes first time empty nothing is here i'm gonna close it up completely i'm gonna plug oh sure i forgot but there is no regular USB, so we need <coughs> this other baby. Ooh, stop. It's just a cable, not gonna hurt me. Okay, there it is. So the only thing I have to do is just go to your music, iTunes library, here it is. So we're gonna just drag and drop it over there. Recommendation from a friend. He says, it's better if you copy folder by folder and after all that is done, you move the library, which are all these files where the, all the information is stored. Otherwise, the information is stored and still the files are not uploaded and that can make a mess. Okay, done. So we're going to copy all these, all these files and then going to replace them completely. Replace them. Okay, there we go. Replace. So let's try. Open iTunes again. Ta-da! All the libraries there! Voila! <laughs> Done! I don't have to do any work. I have all the workshops, I have all the DJing works. That's it! Boom! Done! Ready to DJ in a new event. It's amazing. New computer in less than five minutes. All your libraries in there. This is it. Well, I hope this is helpful for you. We're gonna keep on posting videos about Tango, DJing, about how is the workflow with the music libraries, Tango history, anything that can help you out to develop your own Tango. So I hope you like it. Please share, subscribe, hit the bell, and see you next time. Thank you, bye bye.